Hi guys, Alex here from Drayton's. Here we've got a Mercedes-Benz E-Class 2 litre E220D SE G-Tronic Plus. All the wheels and tyres are in very good condition. These are 17 inch 5 spoke design alloys. At the back you do get a nice size boot. Good amount of depth in there and there is a good amount of width as well, especially with the storage area on the left and this little cubby hole on the right. That is so you can get um, a set of golf clubs in sideways in there as well. This car has got MLT until the 2nd of the 10th 2022 and was last serviced on the 24th of the 9th 2021. Inside we've got these nice black leather sports seats, good bolsters on the side and the base to keep you in place and that continues to the rear as well. You also have this silver aluminium effect all the way around the front and in the rear as well, as well as the uh, mood lighting which you can see here. You can change between a lot of different colours um, to suit your own personal preference. So there is a nice amount of personalization available. The front seats are also heated and electric as well. So you do have the uh, adjustability from the seats as well. Up front we have your speeder on the left and your rev counter on the right with your digital screen in the center and your gear uh, selector at the top. Um, so we have various different screens you can have. So all the buttons on the right hand side so you've got your cruise control, your speed limiter, but these buttons up here control the screen in front, whereas the buttons on the left control the main screen over there. So we have a little home button which brings you to this menu, and then you've got this little scroller, which is just a touch scroller, to go through all these. So you've got your service on here as well, so it shows you when your next service is due. You've also got your assistance system, which you can see there. And then you've got your trip, so you've got your digital speed on there, your average speed, average consumption, things like that, how economically you're driving. Then we have your navigation, so when you've got a route set it will show you the next direction of travel. Um, but when you don't have a route set it's just sort of a, a compass type thing. You've also got your radio tab, so you can scroll through the radio stations on here without going through the main menu. You've also got your media tab, which is Bluetooth in this case and you've also got your telephone as well so it brings up your call list so you can call directly from here. Moving on to the main screen, so as I mentioned you've got these buttons on the left here which is to control this but you can also control it with the swivel wheel and the buttons on here as well which is what I'm going to do. So you've got a massive screen up front and a huge nav um, which is very easy to read as you can see it's very clear. Um, you've got various different options you can have um, in terms of what sort of view you want and then you've, it's really really easy to put a destination and get going just enter destination and that will um, take you where you need to be so then we have your radio tab here as well you've got DAB, FM, AM radio you've got your media tab as well you've got various different sources so you've got Bluetooth, memory card or USB as well then we've got your telephone tab which brings up your contacts and things like that on here and you can make direct calls from there and then you've got your vehicle settings as well you get your dynamic select which is your drive mode and um, various different things you can choose from you've got eco comfort sport and sport plus and individual as well on the individual you can change the settings as you can see here to what your own personal preference is um, currently it's in sport for the engine comfort for the steering and sport for the ESP as well so you've got the sharp throttle response from the sportiness on the engine but you've got the nice light steering from the comfort steering so your maneuverability is still very good but you do also have sport plus which you can put on the thing with the sport plus though is it um, when it's in sport plus it does have the best engine response but it also switches off the traction control automatically and you can't actually turn it on um, when you're in sport plus so um, that's to be something to be uh, weary about but you do have various different settings on here um, you've got your light settings as well so you've got ambient lighting as I mentioned earlier lots and lots of different things you can choose from multicolored or you can have single colors and there's there's so much adjustability and personalization um, it 
would take me quite a while to go through it all but it is all there and it's a nice system um, to play with and you do get used to it quite easily the Mercedes system is very very good um, I must say so moving down again you've got the chrome the aluminium effect here with the lighting that goes all the way across you have your climate controls all on this level here they are physical buttons not touchscreen buttons which I personally prefer and then you've got your shortcuts here for your navigation radio media telephone and your car as well and you do have an analog clock in the center which I love that little touch you have some cup holders down here and a place for your key it just sits nicely in the little hole down there and you've also got a 12 volt socket and then you've got your buttons for your um, center screen in the center here so you've got your back button your home button and your swivel wheel and then you've got your phone controls and your drive select as well as your start stop your parking sensors and your camera as well um, so when you do use this little scroller it will change on here and on here as well so it's sport plus individual sport comfort and eco um, so quite a few different options to choose from um, it all, it's all based on what you fancy at that time I wouldn't suggest going in sport plus um, when it's wet or when it's cold because the traction control as I mentioned will be off and it makes it quite hard to drive um, so just be safe if you're going to use that um, we have your parking cameras here as well so there's various different views for the camera um, it will come on automatically when you put it into reverse as I will show now so in reverse the camera will come on I've just turned it off that's why yep so there we go that's the view you get when you put it in reverse you've got your sensors front and rear uh, nice big amount of sensors uh, nice view for it as well and then you've got a very very clear reverse camera with a different view you can have on here as well so you've got a wide camera rather than the sensors so it's a nice amount of uh, spec on this car um, and it's all very easy to get used to and use and we also have a couple of USBs which you won't be able to see but they're just there and an SD card slot in there and it's a decent sized centre console and then you've got an alright sized glove box there is um, a nice amount of storage in the door pockets um, you've got little trays in there as well if you want to keep coins in there or anything like that stop them rolling around and then you can also fit bottles as well in there you've got a push button start on here too and we have rain sensing wipers that's your gear selector on the steering wheel which is like most Mercedes's um, rather than it being down here it's just to keep it all nice and clean so you've got this nice piano black um, plastic which I love piano black I think it looks really really smart especially offset with the silver aluminium and the lighting um, it just keeps it sort of all in one place you've also got flappy pedals if you prefer a manual style of driving and we have automatic lights your parking brake is just there so that's essentially your handbrake it's just a push button uh, to turn it on your heated seats are here and here and we've also got a very good sound system in here as well so if you do like um, your music then uh, you won't be disappointed and then we have electrically adjustable wing mirrors and they are also folding as well I will have probably forgotten something because there's quite a lot to talk about on this car but um, it is very very nice very nice to drive loads of space in the back as well I'll just show you the rear so with it being an E-Class you've got that slightly longer length than the C-Class uh, it's a bit more luxurious as well in general and you do have a lot of leg room in the back the driver's seat is pushed pretty much all the way back as well just so I can get a view of the front so it shows you sort of how much space you have and the leather continues very very nice leather and as does the aluminium and the leather on the doors as well like I said very nice car to drive very easy to drive but it does have sort of the performance when you do want it um, it will come with six months gold core warranty which can be extended for as little as £199 for an extra six months we also have a range of finance options available so if finance is something you're looking for then we can help you out with that as well if you need any more information on this car or any of the cars we have in stock please go to drayton's.co.uk thank you